get it. Well, attention all food vendors who want to be part of a huge summer event. Right now, your chance to get in at a discount. Link Up is running a food vendor sale for their Rock the Block Street Festival. That's on Saturday, June 10th in the Southtown neighborhood. You're able to get $100 off your registration by using the code FOOD100, but you do have to register by May 1st. This fun-filled day features unique vendors, multicultural cuisine, entertainment, art, information, resources, and more, all celebrating the diversity of Grand Rapids. You you can head to linkup.org slash rock dash the dash block for information and to register. Here's a feel good story for your Monday. Mary Freebed matched 50 people with adaptive bicycle equipment, Aww. helping children and adults with disabilities gain both mobility and some independence. This all happened on Saturday at their Bikes for the Rest of Us event. Participants were paired with therapists who helped match them with cycling equipment that suited their physical needs. Now, this custom equipment can be quite expensive. And this event helps families try out multiple bikes to find the best fit for them. The event has taken place for over 25 years and even includes a free fitted helmet. Also, participants who grow out of their old bikes were invited to bring those in to be donated to another family. Love that. That is fabulous. Well, Summer Camp in Grand Rapids will give kids a chance to strengthen their funny bone. The Comedy Project hosting two youth comedy camps, one for kids age, to, kids age 12, another one for teens ages 13 to 17. Those who take part will get to learn all about comedy from stand-up and storytelling to group improvisation. The camp will wrap up with live performances so those campers can showcase their new skills to friends and family. Both comedy camps are June 26th through June 29th in Grand Rapids. If you want more information, Information, head to the comedy project.com. I like that idea. Yeah. Yeah, family that laughs together. Hey, Holland smelling good these days, right? With the tulips blooming. There's a new exhibit at the Holland Museum celebrating floral art. This is gonna smell pretty sweet. Cultivating the Dutch tradition in the 21st century. Jane Jones's hyper-realist floral paintings opens on May 5th and runs through July 3rd, so maybe not as Odiferous as I thought. No. The exhibit combines. But beautiful the, nonetheless. <laughs> yes. The exhibit combines the history and tradition of Dutch still life paintings with a new modern touch. Also, the artist, Jane Jones, is going to speak at the museum Thursday, May 18th. Well, a new poll says America's happiest people, well, they share some common bonds. A Wall Street Journal National Opinion Research Center poll says happy Americans are involved in their community and in relationships, especially marriage. They also have faith in God, and many are in their retirement years. But only about 12% say they're very happy. That's the smallest since that poll started in 1972. 56% said they were pretty happy, but 30% said they're not too happy. No political party, though, claims a lion's share <laughs> of the very happy. Mm -mm. I don't know why that would be. But uh, yeah, yeah. Aging is <laughs> a bipartisan activity. Right? Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, you mentioned snow. Let's see if, you, if, if it's on. Uh, is it? Uh, uh, I do see a flake. Or on yeah, Tuesday. Or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But then, lots of wet weather. Yeah. Today we do yeah. have what? What do we have? Isolated showers. Yeah. Hit and miss. Yeah, a little bit of there. sun. That sounds, sounds okay. It'll be peaking through high near 50, and then again, same thing happening tomorrow with a better chance of rain. Really, this week, if you're wanting to play a little hooky or get outside, Wednesday and Thursday are yeah. going to be your best bet. Dry and in the mid 50s.